Area 51 is a place that everyone relates to UFOs and aliens, but we might finally have proof of UFOs sighted over the Nevada base of Area 51. And with clips like this, this, and this, it's almost impossible to deny that there's something strange going on in our skies. So we're gonna be diving straight into it, no messing about. First clip that we're gonna be taking a little look at is a UFO supposedly sighted in Antarctica. Now Antarctica is a place that many believe for there to be a, a strange alien presence, whether it be bases under the ice, pyramids in the snow or whatever else. But this clip was captured supposedly of a UFO skimming over the water in Antarctica. Let's take a little look. Okay, obviously thoughts and opinions from me are, it's nothing, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, you can hear the sound of a, a helicopter, but there's a lot of videos going around where, you know, there's these strange like end of world happenings. There was a shark one where there was like a, a megalodon eating a yacht and then, you know, someone falls in the water and it looks so realistic. This gives off those vibes because if you look at it, it's got no shadow or reflection in the water. Then suddenly, wham, look at the size of that shadow. Something this little should not be cast in the shadow that wan okay and it shouldn't be reflecting in that way either there should be a clear reflection of the object kind of just beneath the surface which is a dead giveaway that this could well be a um computer generated video now that's obviously just my opinion i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below but we move on this one might have come from a bit more of a reputable source of now this imp okay uh, a mysterious ufo like object was spotted in the sky above san diego Let's take a little look. Oh, hell no. That's crazy. Look at that. Flares, maybe? Maybe. No, they're... Now, obviously, with that first initial clip, I'm not, I think that this is the same thing spotted from different angles. Obviously, the first one, how it kind of starts as well, one light in the sky, suddenly turns into two kind of fireballs. And then the way they kind of like maneuver around each other, that's something, that's not a meteorite, that's not, you know, flares like they suggested in the video. That's, there's something to that. And also notice the way that they suddenly change direction. That is a giveaway that there's something strange going on here. Oh, hell. Now, what I do like about this is the fact that it's not just one person's account of this. There are multiple um, angles from multiple different people, assumingly unrelated, of the same phenomena showing the same actions, which to me suggests there's some legitimacy to this because, you know, if it's AI generated, computer generated, whatever, that it would be a bit of a mess. There'd be, you know, things happening that wouldn't have happened in the previous clips. There would be, you know, giveaways of sorts. But it is, to me, gives off the vibes that there's something to this. It could be legit. But what do you think? Thoughts, opinions, get it down in the comments. Next clip. Storm revealed everything. Now, this one kind of baffled me when I saw this. It was weird. Oh, holy fucking shit, guys. Now, obviously, to look at it from this angle, it's got a defined arm, head, torso, which, you know, you'd be like, nah, it's fake. But what? Oh, I don't know. Now I'm, like, looking at it again, I think it could be fake. Oh, holy fucking shit, guys. It looks like he's walking, which is weird. Now, I mean, I'm on the uh, I'm on the, the side of like this is this is like a load of load of rubbish. But oh, I don't know. I'm trying to look through the comments and see what the idea is there. But these guys haven't got a clue either. Someone said, imagine if you see a massive health bar, then you know you're in the boss fight and you you, you you're under leveled. You're gonna be going in. You're gonna be absolutely like ridden, and it's just gonna be it's gonna be an absolute shit show. But yeah, I'm now on the side of not legit. But this one, I think there's some legitimacy to let's take a little look footage january 19th 2024 air canada flight seattle to winnipeg i think that's winnipeg uh, nine three papa kilo heavy montreal center good morning 
And uh, just curious, are you still seeing those lights? Uh, yeah, sometimes there is a look, it's, it's like it's uh, more than one and uh, sort of circling. Now uh, it's going from uh, right to left, so sort of a little bit towards us. But it's actually a very high altitude, huh? so it's, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Now, what I like about this is the fact that it's uh, a radio transmission from, I'm assuming, the plane to air traffic control. Like, that's, like, these people wouldn't want to, like, you know, there's no room for, like, messing about. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could be dubbed, it could be whatever, but I'm under the impression that this is legit. Okay, so it's uh, above you by quite, quite a distance. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, the, the distance away is hard to say, but, uh, we're three five, so they got the. They must be at least I don't know five, fifty thousand, sixty thousand, or something high. So, and they seem to be sort of circling. It's more than. It seems to be more than one. And it's as if it shows suddenly in a sort of bright, uh, bright white color, and then it disappears again. It fades, fades away. So it fades in and fades out. Now, what I like about it is there's this, well, you can't see it because of the, the pause button, but there's this like triangular formation, which uh, says to me that there could be something something going on here. Thank you very much. Uh, did you want to make a report on that? Uh, I wouldn't know what to say, so uh, I don't know if you guys don't know, notice anything. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, necessary to make a report out of it, no? Okay, thank you very much. I'll... Uh... I'll pass along just as an anonymous report. So the fact that it also went down as a report shows that the pilot is actually very concerned about what they're seeing because they, you know, you wouldn't just make a report if you were like, well, that can be explained. It's military operations or it's, you know, a scheduled flight of some other kind. You'd be like, they only ever make reports if there's something in the skies that ground traffic control can't explain. So that's weird. And the fact that it was 50,000 feet in the air, that was estimated. You know, what's the cruising altitude of a plane? of planes let's see the cruising altitude is between 33,000 and 42,000 feet they typically fly around 35,000 feet so this is a further 15,000 feet up in the sky that's insane like that's that's high you're reaching like levels of like kind of like brimming on the atmosphere a little bit you know so the next video comes in from um another instagram page that states strange formation in the cloud near st Clair county alabama i'm not going to try and pronounce that because i haven't got a clue anyway I mean, it's weird. It looks like a jellyfish. It does give off those jellyfish vibes. Um, but is this... I think... I'm pretty sure this is just a natural phenomenon. I don't think this is actually UFO related, if I'm perfectly honest. But, I mean, there could be something to it. I mean, it's weird. I mean, it's a weird happening around the world. But is it alien related? I'm not so convinced. Moving on. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. This video was titled UFOs filmed over Area 51 by the Department of Defense Alien Grave Photographed in Utah. This piqued my interest interest because obviously area 51 we all know area 51 is the hub of alien conspiracies we had the whole naruto running thing months years ago they were going to raid area 51 with the motto they can't take us all yeah i'm not sure whatever actually happened to that but you know we all know that there's something weird going on and the fact that people don't come out to confirm or deny anything just adds to the conspiracy but we're going to take a little look let's go of sound mind and body Hello, and welcome to Of Sound, Mind, and Body. On May 31st, 2013, Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, shared a video depicting five unidentified objects recorded on infrared in 2021 by the United States Department of Defense. Now, first of all, absolutely awesome. That is, that's pretty cool. But Sean Kirkpatrick got a bit of a reputation um, with people of not being the most trustworthy of people. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, take that information with you. 
The report submitted to the AARO stated that the video was filmed over a military range in the western United States, but Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com believes that this was filmed over Area 51 in Nevada. Let's take a look at the video now. First we see three orb-like objects sway back and forth, up and down, left to right, and right to left several times. Now what's amazing is, and it's what I noticed when I first watched this, was um, how uniform they were. When one moved, they all moved. It wasn't like it, there was any delay, nothing. It was literally so perfectly in sync. Then, an extremely fast object enters down below and makes its way across the screen. All of a sudden, that object starts changing direction in a very strange pattern before exiting the view of the camera. Now, that's obviously been recorded before by pilots. They've witnessed these things take 180 degree turns, literally like that, and there is nothing in human capacity of aircraft that can do that without having its wings torn off. So, you know, that's bonkers. Then the camera zooms in to show that the first three objects are in fact elongated and cigar shaped. Once again, the view changes back to show the objects as dots as they now travel across the night sky. Now this is cool because obviously, you know, the cigar or Tic Tac UFO, whatever you want to refer to it as, has been one of the most documented shapes. You know, pop culture has it that it's this disc shaped rotating um, object with like a dome over the top. But this Tic Tac shape is the most well documented um, shapes for UFOs out there. Here we could see a fourth object come in from the right side of the screen to join the others. Now that was something, that was really something. The fact that the camera zoom lens, whatever didn't change, but the fact that we got, we went from these little dot shapes to these stick shapes and then suddenly back to these dot shapes. Now that could be one of two things. That could either be it's changing shape, which would be absolutely mind boggling in of itself, but or it's where we're seeing it from the bottom like this, and then it's gone like this, and then we've seen the stick shape and then it's suddenly gone back like this and it's like flying sideways almost. Finally, after several minutes, the objects are lost behind clouds, and the video cuts out.
In a key findings document release of the incident by the AARO, they determined that the objects were aircraft lights that were 300 nautical miles away from the camera sensor. But ask yourself this, do these things look like aircraft lights? Absolutely not. And the fact that they remained so unison throughout the video, the fact that one was able to literally stop, turn 180 degrees, hit the opposite direction, and then stop, hit the opposite direction and go again, says that, that there's no you, there's no aircraft on this planet that's capable of doing that, that we are aware of. Um, obviously, it's said that by the government that the Area 51 is, is a aircraft, um, you know, testing facility. So it could be something man-made, but where do we get the technology to be able to create something that's able to hit those level of Gs without comploding? Yeah, I'm not being funny, but that does not give off the vibe of um, an aircraft light. Well, saying that, actually, there is this uh, thing where the shutter rate of cameras and whatever, I'm not a tech person, so I, I literally haven't got a clue, but it's like the long exposure from the camera creates this elongated effect, which gives it this shape of a cigar or a Tic Tac. Um, so, you know, it could be that. This was filmed back in 2013, released in 2021, I believe, 2023, maybe. I don't know, can't remember. But either way, it could be the, like, you know, the the elongation of the light on from cameras and technical stuff. Looking at these objects, we here out of sound mind and body couldn't help but be reminded of similar objects that were caught in this photo that was taken of the dwarf planet Pluto. Huh. Of sound mind and body, you are spilling the tea. Wow. So. Definitely a striking resemblance. Were these objects what they are trying to tell us they were? Nothing more than aircraft lights? Or were they something not of this earth? As always, you decide what you believe. You probably think that's where the video ends. Oh, no. Not at all. We've got more. We've got a hell of a lot more. Back on January 15th, Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com reported on a possible alien being photographed in Utah. A Facebook user by the name Saber Cape posted this photo to Facebook on the group Exploring Utah on January 13th. The photo seems to show what looks like an alien gray taking a stroll in Baker Hot Springs, Utah. Okay, I feel like we've taken a bit of a leap to get to get to that conclusion. Like, talk about jumping to conclusions. My man leapt to this conclusion. But, you know, there is no denying the, 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 the big-ass head, which obviously is very telling of an alien in pop culture um, and this strange kind of posture. I mean, let's, let's hear what he has to say. Saber Cape said this on the post. You guys, I'm not big on UFOs or aliens, but what the hell do you think this is? We were out at Baker Hot Springs, a very desolate area, and were hiking around and saw this. My husband wouldn't let me hike up the mountain to see. Creepy as F, and I'm wondering if someone just set it up. After Scott C. Waring enhanced the photo, the results were shocking. Okay, there's like, you know, there's, there's something, you know, there's definitely this kind of blue outfit, gray features, but does it mean it's an alien? It could just be a prop. Someone's just plunked it up there for shits and giggles. Um, but...
Scott said on UFOSightingsDaily.com that this has all the signs of being a real alien. And to also know there were a few other alien sightings that week and that aliens may be deciding on revealing themselves very soon. Going on to ask, remember that alien video from Miami, Florida last week? Or the video from Brazil Island? Finishing by saying he sees a pattern. They are pushing a big reveal soon. Do you think he's right? Is this really an alien being walking around Utah in plain sight? Or is there something more to this than meets the eye? As always, we leave this up for you to decide for yourselves what you believe. Thanks for watching. So, uh, I'm obviously of the mindset that, I don't know, it just, I mean, anything's possible. We obviously had that incident in Brazil and Florida, like, in, within the same kind of week, which, you know, was pretty baffling of its own. But does that mean that this is an alien? Not necessarily. It could be literally anything that we didn't, it, that unfortunately, it's a still image, which is annoying. If we'd seen movement, I would have been like, yeah, there's a lot more credibility to this. But that's my take on it. What's your hot take? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of these UFO alien footages um, and what do you think of the stuff captured over Area 51? Do you think that's legit? Is it man-made or is it something out of this world? Let me know that as well. Why you down there? Be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Tick on my little bell to get notified whenever we upload. And until next time guys, I hope that you have enjoyed. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Speak to you later. Peace.